I think it really bears repeating. The secret of great food is never questioning just how great you can make it. Isn't that right, Anna? Yes, Chef. So, come, sit with me, and enjoy the taste of cellulite. I love that you're two seasons in. <laughs> Season and a half, Hope. And you're still taking pictures. I'm like the extra who finally got a line and is really grateful and a little bit incredulous. Please, you earned your spot and clearly Dean likes you enough to keep you on. Okay, don't jinx me. Millie was here for three seasons and he fired her for adding more salt. Well, just keep doing what you're doing. You'll be fine. <laughs> Speaking of which, mm -hmm. I pulled some of Dean's favorite recipes if from Portugal and a little something extra. Ooh. Lavender rack of lamb. Mm -hmm. It's their most appreciated meat. Sounds delicious, but you know how he likes his own creations. Don't be a Millie. Oh, I wouldn't dare. <laughs> Good. Okay, so I just finished this beauty. Let me guess, two weeks broken down by the hour. Half hour. Oh, well, let's cross our fingers that... Don't I... even say it. <clears throat> uh, disculpe me. Onde esta os banheros? I'm pretty sure you know where the bathrooms are now, Russ. Okay, well, that confirms it. My pronunciation is amazing. <laughs> Mais ou menos. That's Portuguese for I agree, right? Sure. Where is Dane? Shouldn't we be heading to the airport soon? Uh, the vans will be here in an hour. Um, he's going to meet us there. Where? The airport? Uh, Portugal. Why? Okay. His contract negotiations are just taking a little longer than expected. Stop. You know how these things go with him. That's why I've heard. Not from me. We're about to start shooting our seventh season. Dean's just throwing his weight around, playing hardball, seeing how much he can squeeze out of the network before he signs on the dotted line. Are they squeezable? Not for you and me. The deal will be sewn up by the time we land. We will get there. We always do. Right? I'll load up the camera. Uh, did you connect with the farmer's market guy I found? Lucas is expecting your call. Uh, yes, we're playing phone tag. Then you're it. Try again. We need vegetables, not variables. Hello? Hola, hi, Lucas? No, 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 Oh, você fala inglês? Is this Dean's assistant? Prep cook, but yes, I'm Anna. Oh, hi, Anna. We are excited to welcome you to Lisbon. Oh, thank you. I just had a few recipes I wanted to go over and make sure you had all the ingredients. But depois isto vir mesmo no timing certo. 15, 10 minutos, no máximo ele está aí. Obrigado. I'm sorry, is, is this a bad time? Apologize. Friday mornings are always, um, what's the word? Manic. <laughs> Rest assured. You will be well taken care of. Just email me the list of ingredients and I'll meet you here whenever is best. All right. Hello? I'm assuming you know her. Hi, Mom. Give me a smile. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> you know, I love seeing you, Mom, but you don't have to come all the way down here every time I leave. Are you kidding me? I love it. And it only took me like two hours. And besides, all our friends love all the behind the scene pics. So, where's Russ? Working. Why? Just always nice to see him. Besides, your dad still thinks that maybe you two might. I already tried that door, Mom. It's closed. We're just friends. Okay. Okay. But we're glad that you be together, because Lisbon's a bit far for our liking. But exciting. Yes, very. Mm. I wish you guys could come. It's going to be a smidge more glamorous than this. Mm, don't worry about us. I just wanted to see your face. And your dad did too, but the city's paying him double time to get Main Street's power back up. He sends you love. What'd you do? <laughs> Nothing. It's just a little travel kit. Type E adapters, converters. I also put a little melatonin in there and a, a jar of peanut butter in case you need it for a recipe or feel a bit homesick. I hear it's hard to find over there. It's 
very considerate. Thank you. Of course, sweetheart. We just want you to be prepared for any situation. It's not like the diner. It's Hollywood. <laughs> it's not exactly Hollywood, but I know what you mean, and I'm going to keep my head down and stay clear of the drama. Especially since that boss of yours sounds like a bit of a... Mom. Well, what I mean is... Good luck, honey. And call us if you need anything. Huh? Have the best time. I will. Oh. I will, I promise. I can't believe we're working here. This is stunning. It's Dean. What did you expect? Oh, yeah. Can you share the Wi-Fi password with me? Oh, man, I'm starving. You reckon they're serving lunch here? How come you didn't eat on the plane? Chicken wasn't that bad. No, I couldn't. The others were touching it. You're joking, right? Oh, is there evil? Oh, come on. Uh, let me guess. Dean's already here, and the villa's complimentary gift basket is too small? Uh, no. Yeah, what? No, it's 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 fine. Nothing to worry about. That doesn't sound good. No, it doesn't. Oh, I told Lucas I'd meet him by noon. Yeah, no worries. Go for it. I'll um, I'll make sure you get a good room. Não, não, não. Desculpe. Aqui não há uma entrada. Vem aqui dar uma volta. Um, é seguir por ali. Vira aqui à direita e vai ver uma entrada assim grande, tá bem? É só contornar aqui pela oh, curva. Oh, uh, sorry. I, my, my Portuguese is only... Ah, ok. This is not an entrance. It says delivery only. Are you delivering something? Oh, no. I'm, I'm meeting someone. The manager? Whatever you call the person that runs the market in Portuguese. Lucas. Yes, yes, Lucas. So you must be Anna. Yes. Very nice to meet you. Hi. Oh, hi. Where's all of your crew? Oh, they're back at the villa settling in. I thought you'd be filming this. No, no. Our show is about fine dining, so we don't leave the kitchen unless the chef makes an exception. Um, our guests come to us. Okay, but the market is the heart of Portuguese cooking. <laughs> yes, I agree. I agree, which is why I'm here, to get the freshest produce possible. <laughs> Well, the market is the best in Portugal, but it's only a sample of our exquisite cuisine. All right. I would love to see inside. Sure. Let your tour begin. <laughs> you need help? Oh, They are super fresh. We got special. So exceptional, <laughs> exceptional, and very reasonable. I told you we are a paradise for oyster lovers. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad Dean isn't here. I find the market can uh, inspire chefs. You know. Yes, yes. Uh, chef prefers that the cooking be more scripted and the conversation more spontaneous not the other way around. Um, but he does use the best locally sourced ingredients, the freshest. And so he sends his prep cook. Yeah, I love this part. Seeing all the colors and smelling the aromas. Well, we work closely with our top farmers to secure the best of everything. 
Do you want to taste some bread, maybe? <laughs> Do I? This one is our typical carcassa. Carcassa. Yeah. I love it here already. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Mm. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but phone cameras are just as... Oh, hi. Hey, you back? Yes, after a very fruitful tour from Senor Lucas, who seems to know where to find the best of everything. Everything, that's a, that's a bold statement. Yeah, oh, Portuguese is a romance language, so bold translates to beautiful. Oh, you're back. Great, here you go. Change of plans. Um, Dean is back? Not yet. Do we know when? Couple of days at least. So for now, we're gonna stay on schedule. How? Wait for it. We've got you. Me? Mm hmm. Well, I'm. Well, I'm not a host, so. Oh, I know that. But this is just a, a temporary workaround. You'll still do all your prep work. Make sure you got everything ready to go for the episode. And then, then we're just gonna shoot all the B-roll, all the extra side packages and interviews with you instead of Dean. Don't worry, when he gets back, we'll just splice him in and it won't all be you. How does that part work? I don't know yet, but it has to. Okay, okay, so basically I'll do both jobs, but really I'm, I'm covering for Dean? Temporarily. Uh, if I can't? Uh, they shut us down, we fly back home and no one gets paid. Uh, no pressure. Oh, sorry, I gotta, uh, take this. You come with me? Uh, wait, how can his voicemail be full? Could... I need a large glass to fill. <sighs> Superbok or Sagrash? What's your choice? Ah, Superbok, the unofficial beer of Portugal. You realize this is a terrible idea, right? What, drinking beer? No. <laughs> Me, covering for Dean, I, even if it is just temporary. Why? You do most of the work anyway. Yeah, the prep work. Not the filming and interviewing. People want Dean. That's a generous statement. On TV, you know what I mean. He's the personality. He... You got a great personality. What? You do. And it's not like it's the first time you put yourself out there. Okay. If... You're referring to me trying to kiss you after the rap party. A, that was a long time ago. Well, a year-ish. And B, I thought you were being very flirty. Oh, I was. I'm Australian. <laughs> right, I got that now. C, you turned me down. Uh, no, cherished our friendship. And now look at us, best mates. <laughs> best mates. But I think you could have found a better example. Actually, I was talking about the day Millie got fired. Oh, right. That. Yeah, that. You said you started as a waitress in high school, but by the time we got to the restaurant, you were head chef. Chef is a stretch for a family-owned diner. Okay, but it caught the attention of a two-star Michelin chef who thought it would be fun to shoot there. You could have just filled in for the episode, but when Dean asked if you wanted the job, you took it. This is different. No, it's not. The show needs you just like it did then. Won't he be mad? He fired Millie for adjusting one of his recipes, and she went to the Culinary Institute of America. What's he going to do to a short order cook who comes in and takes over his entire show? Don't sell yourself short. Besides, the network is asking, so it's not like you got a choice. Remember, it's, this is temporary. Someone will cave soon. So right now, we just need to stay afloat until Dean gets here. It's the best shot we got. Just don't screw it up. Thanks, mate. Feel so much more relaxed now. I'm kidding. Yeah, well, don't worry. I will, uh, I'll let you know how it goes. <gasps> Good news. Our guest is still coming. He just confirmed. So we should all turn in and get some rest because tomorrow, you're Dean. Temporarily. You ready for that? Anna, Dean, Wells? Yeah, no, that sounds like sausage. Yeah, maybe just Anna. Okay, just Anna. You ready? Here we go.
come. Sit with me and enjoy the taste of Portugal. Come, come sit with me. Come, sit with me. Uh. What? Why are you looking at me like that? I don't think you need any more caffeine. Oh, it's only my third espresso. Your tapping is stressing me out. Sorry. I'm just a little nervous. Really? Yeah. You would be too if you were me. Or maybe not, but how? Cuz. Cuz. Not help for Brooklyn. Cuz I know you guys need me. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we gave you. Oh. Dean's guests are like him. Loves to talk about themselves, so that should give you plenty of time to prep. And remember, it's all about the banter, okay? All right. Have fun. Totally. Just don't go out of frame. You can't exit to retrieve ingredients now. Remember to always smile. The camera is never not on you. Maintain control of the conversations. You are the one leading the discussion, okay? Anything else? Yeah, can we get a little touch-up in here? Oh, again? Well, just for those close-ups. Uh, how close are we talking? Don't worry, I got you. Let's talk about those angles that we want. I, my angles or the kitchens? They were talking about mine, weren't they? Okay. For me, it starts at the market. Yes, there are recipes, <clears throat> but once you get there and you see and taste everything, what's in season, it changes things. Don't you think? No, not for me. I leave it up to my chefs. Of uh, Ray Tasco? Ray Tasco. Ray Tasco. Yes. Might be my fourth restaurant, but it has something my others don't. Youth. <laughs> my executive chef received his first Michelin star at 25. Dean introduced us. Have you met him? Dean? <laughs> no. My chef. <laughs> um. Oh, um, no. Dean, um, Dean doesn't usually, um... You know, I think that, um, that is a perfect tomato. Has a lot of meat, not a lot of seeds, and it's, uh... Mmm. <clears throat> actually not sweet enough. Would you like to put on an apron and... Help me plate the microgreens. Or not. <clears throat> Let's find whatever you're comfortable with. So, you just opened your fourth restaurant. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that must be really nice. The last review calls it Ambitious. Nice. Yes, and deliberately playful. Wow. Wow, that's really, um... Nice. Okay, okay, yep, yeah, we, we got it. Um, 
You're good. Uh, let's um, let's let's take a break. Let me know when Dean's here. I will. Thank you. I don't know what that was, but that was not good. Look, it's don't worry, it's fine. We'll get it. Okay. Yeah. Stop that. It's day one. You did well. <laughs> Just <clears throat> tomorrow, try to own it a little more and um, maybe less tomato talk. Really? Russ, let's go. Gotta go get those exteriors before we lose the light. You okay? Totally, yeah. Go. Go. You sure? Yes, please. Please go. <laughs> You know what this reminds me of? High school. I'm having a hard time finding that connection. You were so afraid to try out for dance team, you know, worried that you'd fail every time, and you never did. I got lucky. No. You worked hard. This is a whole different ball game. You have to know your stuff, entertain people. I feel like I was putting people to sleep. Try not to put too much pressure on yourself. And you can always come home. Mm. Dad was saying that the county's hiring. Not till the end of the month, but it's always an option and a lot more reliable. Thanks, Mom, but I... I'm sure you're right. It probably went better than I thought. I just... Just needed a vent, that's all. Of course, sweetheart. But just know that we're always here if you need us. Thanks, Mom. Love you. Love you too. <sighs> Got a message? Leave it. Uh, Sorry, the voicemail box you're trying to reach is currently unable to accept messages. Okay, take that one. I don't need the lenses in that case. You can take that and this one. Thank you. This can go too. Thank you. We'll be in touch. Please tell me that's not the last we'll see of them. For a little while, maybe. Some of the other guests we had lined up won't commit unless Dean's here. So it's just gonna be a skeleton uh, crew for a couple of days, running around in Portugal, filming all the sites, getting B-roll, and no Dean, so can't stop the shenanigans. <laughs> um, yeah, so, oh, and speaking of that, I'm taking a out tonight. First round's on Russ. I'm gonna skip it. If you don't mind, I'm feeling a little tired. Of course not, we'll rest up. Come, sit with me, and enjoy. Is never questioning just how great you can make it. Isn't that right, Anna? Yes, Chef. So, come <sighs> sit with me. It. Splice, replace, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna work. The network saw the footage and they're nervous. Like pull the trigger nervous? Mm-hmm. 
Hope, I think I have an idea. I'm not Dean. He can just sit in a room, sip wine, cook a little chat a lot, and everyone loves it. But it's not me, and I'm not gonna pretend that it is. So, we need to get out of the kitchen. Bom dia, senhorita. Bom dia. Uh, yes, bom dia. Hi, welcome. Hey, mate. Thanks for letting us come on such short notice. Spontaneity is a necessary ingredient for creativity. Yes, exactly. Which is why instead of shooting the sites, we thought we would come show where the food comes from. Yeah, sure. Let your tour begin. My market is the best in Portugal. It is. Oh, yeah, it, it is. is. I want to see it. <laughs> you will see. I'm excited for today. This is a traditional Portuguese market where we're going to be gathering all the ingredients that we need for our meals. We have the fruits, the vegetables, and most importantly, we're going to get the Portuguese spices that we need to make the traditional dishes. So come with me while we find them. I'm in tomato heaven right now. We have about seven or eight different varieties of tomatoes and I'm a big fan but these are very interesting to me because I don't see these a lot. What, what's the name of these? It's tomato azul. Tomato azul. Aren't these beautiful? I'm wondering if the flesh is the same color inside but only one way to find out. We're gonna have to cut her open. I'm taking lots of these with me today. We have the freshest most stunning eggs from this beautiful couple's farm. Eggs are the foundation for so many dishes that we'll be making this week. So you always want to make sure you are fully stocked up on eggs. And uh, something else that I heard this morning is his shirt says, I sell boneless chicken, which I think is hysterical. But anyway, let's, <laughs> let's keep moving. What you're going to eat is actually the bottom portion of the leaf. The whiteness is the ripeness. And this is the famous pastel de nata, a culinary trademark of Portugal. Mm. Food and tradition all in one. We're going to have to try to make these while we're here. Portugal is an endless wonder, if you know where to look. Okay, uh, I think we got it. Oh, we, oh, you guys are very, very natural together. Great. <laughs> oh, it's so much easier out in the world, isn't it? And you make it easy. And you, with the endless wonder to bring it home, that was perfect, right? Okay, well, either way, it's, it's working, so keep it up. Yep, yeah? Thank you. Just let me know if you want to taste anything else or interview anyone else. Oh, thank you. Uh, I think we're good for today, but for tomorrow. Where are we getting the freshest fish? Not here. I thought they had the best of everything here. <laughs> For cooking at home, yes. But if it were my restaurant or show, there's only one place I'd get the freshest of fish from. Pineapple is my favorite. The taste of Portugal is in every sip. Would like to try it? You? Thank you. Yes, yeah. please. You? Okay. In my opinion, the best. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. It's good. Obrigada. So You're welcome. Good. You don't want yours off. Okay. Yes. Thank you. And uh, just let me know when you're ready to discuss the important fishes, and I will introduce you to the fishmonger. Sounds like a plan. Okay. <laughs> important <Ooh>. fishes. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> don't worry, it's lost on me too. Uh, yeah, I think it means he's trying to impress you. Really? Come on, I saw that look he gave you. There was a look? Well, how would you feel if there was? Honestly, I'm too freaked out right now to think about it. How many more two-day delays do you think they'll give us? Oh, it depends on how long Dean wants the faff and how good today turns out. So, uh, it's kind of on you. Yeah. But you got this, right? Mm-hmm. What? Super fresh is always best, right? Right. Right. Where are you going?
Lucas, yeah. just quickly. Yeah, yeah, what else? Uh, do you happen to know anyone with a boat with a kitchen on it that we could use maybe tomorrow? <laughs> tomorrow? You wanna, you wanna cook on a boat? Just until Dean gets back. Doesn't get much fresher than that. Have you, have you run it past hope? Uh, not yet. I just, I wanted to see if it was even possible first. Yeah, it is tight. But creatively spontaneous? <laughs> uh, for you, I'll find one. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> awesome. Can I ask you something? Always. What do you think of today's footage? Well, for someone who loves cooking, you're really trying to avoid that kitchen, aren't you? <laughs> I'm trying to avoid all of us being out of a job, honestly. Touche. Better? Do you really need to ask? Sure do. Just did. You're captivating. <sighs> Stop it. No, I'm serious. I feel like you are more you than you've ever been. That's high praise coming from you. Just hope the network approves of the changes. I think they'll approve anything that buys us time and uh, looks good. Even the boat? Do we even know if we have one yet? Lucas seems confident. I can say that again. And he's very helpful. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, we are so doing this. So we want dancing. Yes, it would be rude not to. It's part of the experience. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not a great dancer. Oh, you're Australian. They love everything Australians do here. Oh, yeah, including this beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not that one. <laughs> Where'd you learn that move? YouTube. <laughs> I, um, <clears throat> I almost did this uh, documentary on Latin dancing. You did? When? How come I didn't know about that? Well, it was right before I did this much needed pain gig. Would have been fun. Might have learned a move or two, but, um, I wouldn't have met you. We'll be here doing this. So. Lucas, could be about the boat. Okay, well, uh, tell your boyfriend I said hi. Be five. Hola. We were just talking about you. Get maybe like two or three more. No. Hope I can just shoot a documentary star. There's plenty of natural light. And I can stay behind. You're welcome. Thank you, Brooklyn. Your sacrifice is noted. Okay, well then I guess it's just me, Anna, and Russ, and Tiago. Of course, the rest of you can watch from here. I'm guessing we're going to want to come in and reset. So just keep watching and be ready. We go now. Oh. Okay, we, we go luck. now. Great. Um, okay. Um, okay. Let's get these supplies on the boat. Thank you. Anna, you ready for this? Yes. Let's cook some fish. Have fun out there. So once you get the garlic and onions all into a nice saute, those flavors sizzling in the pan. <laughs> Ooh, it's not every day you get to cook on a boat. Fun fact, it's actually my first time on a boat. Let's add some more olive oil, and then the filet. Thank you. As fresh as can be. You okay? 
I just need a minute. She doesn't look good, but they're not coming in. Sea bass is a bit of a chef's secret. It's dainty and delicious. And if you don't want to deal with all of the skin and the bones, your butcher can do that for you. But I am here to show you that it's nothing to be scared of. Woo! <laughs> At least in the kitchen on land. <laughs> Ooh. Uh-oh. Hey, you okay? Do we have any, uh, have any ginger ale on the board? Okay. It's okay. okay. You're doing so good. The trick is to lift the bones out of the fish in one smooth and easy motion so that you don't disturb the presentation. Not bad. Not bad. A little more sauce and this turned out perfectly. A very Portuguese lunch. Bon appetit. That's a cut. Cut. Woo! <laughs> well done. Hey, I uh, couldn't find any more ginger ale, but they should help. Oh, thank you. I'm already feeling a bit better. Oh, good. So that was mortifying. <laughs> no, no, I kind of liked it. Oh, you liked watching me get motion sickness. I liked watching you handle it like a boss. Just, you know, getting out of your head and, and just doing it. It was real cooking. It was fun. I don't know if fun is the word that I would use. Maybe not fun, but entertaining. <laughs> it was certainly that. And very beautifully shot, I'm sure. Maybe, maybe. Thank you. Yeah, there was nowhere to hide. It was, it was intimidating. That is why it was so good. It was just you being you, and you are pretty awesome. Same. Thanks. I was kind of worried about you for a second, though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> hey. Oh. What are you doing here? I, I thought you were stuck at the market all day. And I was. But I had to check in and see how it went. Oh. With the boats. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, smooth sailing. <laughs> Boy, what is it? <laughs> it was that. It was very good. Which is why we need to get back and put together the dailies so the execs have something to wake up to. Well, I'm ready. You? Uh, yeah. Oh, too bad. I was hoping we could go to dinner. To toast your success and talk about other locations. I know. Success is a little premature, but <laughs> it's very sweet. It never hurts to have some backup locations lined up. Hmm? Uh, I would, I'd feel bad bailing. Oh, you should go. Enjoy. No, there's nothing left for you to do here, so... Oh. Okay, well, if you guys are sure... Go! Have fun! Great. Yeah, we'll see you back there. <laughs> okay, are you ready for the best food in Portugal? I would expect nothing less at this point. <laughs> Except maybe no more fish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is it me? Do I detect a little love in Lisbon? <laughs> okay, I know you want it to be a surprise, but I am starving. Can you at least tell me if we're close? Almost there, promise. Okay. okay. First thing that comes to mind when you think of Portugal? Port. Specifically? Tawny, aged 20 years. <laughs> My favorite, yeah. <laughs> and fish, lots of fish. True, but not Ronaldo. Who? The football player. Not for the bears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm clearly more into food than sports. Okay, then you're in for a treat. After you. Mm. I thought you would enjoy a truffle tasting. <laughs> <laughs> Who told you the way straight to my heart? <laughs> oh, my goodness, that's good. Mm. That's incredible. <laughs> what an intoxicating whiff. 
one that I'm guessing will stay with you. Have you been to Alva, Italy, for the white truffle? No, I actually haven't traveled much outside of the show. Okay, so Portugal is a first. Yes. But you seem to know some Portuguese. My dad is Brazilian, but he didn't teach me. I can understand a little. Okay, makes sense. So, where did you study the culinary arts? <laughs> Wait, let me guess. Uh, Auguste Coffier? Mm -hmm. No. Kendall? CIA? <laughs> Luz in Chicago. Luz in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Is that a small school? Yeah, tiny little hole in the wall. <laughs> it's uh, what some might call a greasy spoon, and I call it a killer free education. <laughs> Dean in Chicago, they ended up filming in my diner, and I ended up filling in when he fired his prep cook. That's certainly lucky for you. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit like Cinderella with a crazy erratic prince <laughs> the classic fairy tale i think i would have gone to culinary school but my mom got sick and i had to stay at the diner and work and help out until she got better and i tried to get a job at some high-end restaurants but nothing really panned out until then i remember being so nervous making that decision to quit go work for dean i i ate like three bites of toast in the days after that and I'm an eater. <laughs> well, food is one of life's greatest pleasures, so you should enjoy every mouthful. And I get it, it can be frightening, living the familiar. I'm considering starting my own venture. Venture? Really? Yeah, restaurant. Different. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> but just to say, I get how you felt. But how do you feel now? I felt overqualified there and underqualified here. I know it was the right decision. I'm just not sure where I fit any longer. Maybe that's because you are on the edge of something great. I like that. <laughs> Cheers. To something great. So, he just walked away from negotiations, just like that? So what, you're just gonna try and find a, a new chef? Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, but I just what about... What about everyone else? So we'll just finish out the last three and then, then we'll see. Okay. All right, well, you just keep me posted on who you find. Okay. I know you know I'm right behind you. You, Chef. That's not gonna be great for anyone. Well, at least we also have jobs. Today. Look, the network is still asking for the dailies. They really like the footage and the creative direction they're seeing. They're just trying to slide the new person in. So, how's that coming? Uploading now. Great, thank you. How was your date? Oh, don't scare me like that. Sorry. <clears throat> what are you doing out here? Are you, are you waiting up for me? Maybe. Why? What's wrong? Come sit with me. I just bailed? Like, no thanks? Wow. This is it. <laughs> we don't know that for sure, but... All signs point to yes. I shouldn't be surprised, but... Surprised. Ditto. We were just finding our groove. I know, I know. The footage today was a beaut. I knew it would be. You were great. Would you ever want to host? Like, be the chef? You're seriously asking me that. Well, they haven't hired a new chef yet. But they will soon. Why can't it be you? 
They'd never go for that. Why not? I'm not a celebrity. They've given you the chance of more airtime. They clearly think you're capable of more. <laughs> Out of desperation. I have been performing well under pressure. And on rough waters. It's kind of now and ever. But, uh, they're not going to ask you to host. That's it? That's your pep talk? You need to show them that you can be the main, the lead. Because I already know you can make it great. We can make it great? If you figure out what you want to show them, I'll film it and edit it for you, Chef. They bring their cage to the market every Thursday and Sunday, and they are my absolute favorite, as is this town. Oh, wow. Thank you. Oh, this is exactly what I hoped for. I just want everyone to have fun. That's what these tastings are all about, just experiencing the easy, natural magic that good food brings. Let's get set up. We have two of the same sheets here, one is textured and one is not, as you can tell, by the texture and the sheets here. And what do you think? It's fantastic, right? Wow. That's beautiful. Wow. This is a phenomenal milk blend of cheese, goat, and cow's milk. Good food for everyone. You have to try it. <laughs> to Anna. Uh. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but that felt so fresh to me. Entertaining and still informative, which we love. Yeah, very impressive. Mm -hmm. You told the story of this place so beautifully. Almost as beautiful as you are. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, thank you. It's <laughs> very sweet. It was fun. Yeah, everyone had fun. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, next up, olives. Um, an entire episode on a side dish? It's gonna be great. You'll see. Everything's lined up. <laughs> well, thank you. Okay. Uh, guys, no, we need to make sure those lights go in the van first, please. Uh, well, I think we can all be proud of our work today. Absolutely. And we're done, right? Good. Then you should come with me. Where? To see more of the area. It's really growing. I have just a quick meeting with an investor. Oh, 
Oh, for your restaurant. Yeah, but it shouldn't take long. And I would love to show you around more. Oh. <laughs> um, maybe we rain check for tomorrow? It's my day off. It is? Yeah. What do you mind too? I'll take you to lunch. <laughs> okay, perfect. Good. See ya. Bye. Don't. I wasn't gonna say a thing. You lie. Come on. I need to go walk off that last cheese you made me eat. <laughs> me? I did not tell Brooklyn to bring you the plate of leftover azetal. You only have yourself to blame. Uh, no, because I was behind the camera, you know, doing my job. It was you who insisted <laughs> I join the cheese party. Eh, uh, fair. Thank you for this. Walking with nowhere to go, nowhere to be. Just feels magical, doesn't it? It's kind of my favorite thing. What? Walking. <laughs> Wondering. Winging it. Just, uh, you know, seeing where things go. Maybe that's why you're drawn to documentaries. Well, yeah, exactly. Um, there's, a, there's a real opportunity for discovery in that genre that I find really exciting. <laughs> I guess that's a dream. Well, I can't imagine there wouldn't be a lot of opportunities. Well, there were at first, but uh, after you turned down a few, the offers stopped coming. Anyway, according to my mates back home, I've already made it. So I'm just trying not to screw up a good thing, I guess. I completely get it, but you got to ignore your mates back home. <laughs> How do you do that? What? Uh, what am I doing? I don't know. That. <laughs> that thing you do when you... You look me in the eyes and... and then I'm like... <laughs> Ginger? The best of Portugal? Best, best! The best? Best. Oh, well, I guess we better try it then. It's the best, we must. <laughs> do you Cheer do. Chaser. Well, cheers. Do you just put it all in? I think it's sip and bite. Okay. Okay, that works, yeah. Perfect. It is. <laughs> is this is for our date? I hope you don't mind. I took the liberty of ordering. Uh, usually, yes, but this looks delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. Is this your first day off in Portugal? It is. Then I'm honored you're spending it with me. And I'm flattered that you wanted to show me where you're opening your restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not a fully day off. No oh. way. You beat me here. Is that possible when I live two minutes down the road? You know me. Thanks for coming. Hugo, this is Senna. Anna. Hi. Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much about you. You must be Dean's assistant. Prep cook. Oh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Hugo is a huge fan of Dean's. Help yourself. Which is why we're excited to have you do a segment here. Here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just <sighs> thought I help your show so Dean can feature my restaurant when it opens. It's the least he can do, right? Is that what this is all about? There's potential for everyone. Absolutely. To promote your restaurant? Mm -hmm. We just need Dean. Well, I don't think he's coming anymore. What? <laughs> I thought you said you were just filling in until he got here. He's not coming anymore. 
you said you had a day off. Things change. Well, this is all very uh, disappointing. Wait, wait, wait. Anna, we can still get the crew here, right? Lucas, this show's not your golden ticket. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a day off to enjoy. This feels intense. Sorry, I didn't see you there. You know, you should really use your words. Violence isn't the answer. Take a seat. Lucas, how'd you guess? I'm very empathetic. I'm more annoyed than upset. I think I was more upset when Russ rejected me. At the rap party. Right, I'm so glad you were there to witness that. <laughs> Maybe that means something. Yeah, it means that I should stop looking at a good friend as anything more. Even if in certain foreign environments it feels like it could be something more, but... It's only going to result in future humiliation. And Lucas, everything feels transactional now. I hate that. Like, how do you know if someone likes you or what you can do for them? You don't. You just have to trust your gut. Oh, yeah, that led me right to an empty building. <laughs> well, maybe, but as soon as you knew, you knew. And you were out of there. I really thought he was interested in the food. Like, we were connecting over it, and now everything just seems less real. No, the food is real. The viewers you connect with are real. Our friendship is real. Don't let one pompous idiot put you off. Most of us are still diner folks at heart. Oh, Brooklyn, I love this gooey side of you. Don't get used to it. <laughs> hey, you're back. I am. I was, uh, I was just gonna head out and do some sightseeing. You guys wanna join? No. Looks like it's just the two of us. Sure. person is one thing and another person is another thing and it turns out Brooklyn is just awesome right I mean short film award in New York and completely made and edited on her phone I mean she's full of underrated surprises oh for me this whole trip is oh, I forgot to ask how was your uh, lunch day with Lucas it wasn't a date mm -hmm. it wasn't and I'm not giving it or him any more of my time good you deserve way better well, you know, when the time is right, but right now I just want to keep my head in the game, show the network what I can do. So the goal for tomorrow? Basic, drama-free, fun. That's what I want, so if we get canned tomorrow, I can go out happy. Ish. Ish. Yeah. Okay, well, um, good night. Night.
India, Portugal. Bom dia. Let's get it. I think the olive mill you found is way better than the one Lucas suggested. Oh, that was all Brooklyn. Yeah, she got on that as soon as Lucas sent my call to voicemail. <laughs> Turns out he doesn't always pick the best of the best. Mm, right. So you're going to do an olive oil tasting? Yes, it's going to be a whole olive experience, and I'm going to finish with a green olive dip recipe I found. I'm down for some liquid gold. Ah, thanks, Brooklyn. OK, it's time to roll. We have two days left to prove to whoever this new chef is that we are a team worth keeping. Right? Absolutely. And for who the real chef is. No pressure. You got this. Thanks. Who's that? I have no idea. You don't think. Surprise! Did you miss me? I knew they'd cave eventually. I mean, it's not like they could just replace me, is it? I'm just surprised no one gave me a heads up. Ah, yes, now that was my idea. Mm, was it? Yeah, well, you know me. I love a grand entrance. And uh, I was uh, sort of over the Algarve. You were in Portugal this whole time? Well, at least you're finally here. And with more creative control, starting a now. Excuse me? Uh, does that mean we won't be going to the olive mill? I should... I should let them know. S sorry, why would we be going to an olive mill? What am I going to cook there? We do everything in the kitchen. We did. We had to change up the format a little. Get out of the kitchen, get into the city and outside of it, where everything was just a bit more relaxed. Because you weren't here. Are you trying to say I'm not relaxed? No, didn't say that. I needed to keep things interesting until we could splice you in when you got back. So it was your idea? Yes. The network wanted us to stay on schedule. And she slid right on in. Again, keeping us on schedule in your absence. What'd you expect? Respect. Can I put your bags down? They're really heavy. Of course you could put my bags down. In my room. You're welcome. So, where did you go on these little outings? We started at the market, then the coast. On a boat, very picturesque. Mm -hmm. Also, a kajairo. And it was all you? No, no, everyone pitched in. Oh, well, since everyone seems to be embracing change around here, I'll introduce the next one, which is getting rid of you. What? Wait, what? Dean, uh, we have two more days left of shooting. You really want to do that? Oh, yes, I do. <sighs> I'm the chef on this show. For rosé, but all they had was verde. When in Portugal. Why am I not more okay? That was brutal. Yeah, but also inevitable. Was it? He swapped out Sweet Millie mid episode. True, but Sweet Millie didn't even really want to be doing this. She didn't? No, she went back home to Columbus and opened her own restaurant. And is really happy. Huh. I'm so glad. Oh, it makes me so happy. Because you care. You care about your co-workers, you care about the audience, the work you do. And you love what you do. I love sharing food. 
showing people technique, that it can be experimental and fun. Gourmet cooking is not just for students of the culinary arts. Food is so much more than that. It's, it's a culture. It is caring and connection. Which is exactly why you should be the one hosting. It was never about that for me. I didn't even know that was an option. Yeah, I know, but that's what this gig is. Every job is a, a weird side or a hard side. As long as the other outweighs it, why wouldn't you go for it? Mm, because I was just fired. From Dean? It's <laughs> one person. Everyone knows it's a volatile industry. There's way more out there. I don't think I'm cut out for this. You know what I think? Olives are evil. Yes, olives are evil. And you're a buddy ripper. A ripper? Ripper? <laughs> 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 I can't handle the Aussie slang on top of the Portuguese. It just means you're great. Really great. That's all. Stop it. You make me cry. Sorry, that's uh, not my intention. And for the record, um, I messed up. I think we all did our best, considering the circumstances. I'm not talking about work. Your flight's all booked. Uh, 3.45 p.m. departure tomorrow, one stop. That was fast. Sorry, I... I should probably go back. Yeah, yeah, of course. No worries. Oh, but you should watch the footage. Because Anna was good for the show. It's fine. It's fine, Mom, really. I mean, I got to go to Portugal and Mexico and half of the major cities in America. So it's all good. And now it's just, it's time to come home. You could call Lou, see if he needs help in the diner. No, I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to do that. Uh, have you filled in the employment form for the county yet? No, but I, I will. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's steady, right? What is it that Dad always says? If you, if you do the work, then the... you get the result. But only if that's what you really want to do. I just am tired of filling in. I just want to feel like I have some type of control over my destiny. Mm, well, Hollywood is never going to give you that. It's a cooking show. It's not some big action film. Yeah, I... I might need you to resend that link. You got it, sweetheart. We love you. Love you more. Okay, so this is today's schedule. Uh, Brooklyn, yeah. Okay, 
uh, I'll be right back. Just gotta make a phone call. Dean, the vans are ready to take us to Penna Palace. Pretty Portugal. Hold it right there. <laughs> For your poster. <clears throat> poster? Your TV career doesn't end here. What? You're cooking nerd, right? I mean, I don't know if I'd call myself a nerd, but... <clears throat> okay, fine. Yes, why? You're approachable. More than some. Which is why I was willing to be on camera for you. And not just for the free food. You are a generally tough customer. I know you think Dean is the personality, but the people want to watch you. The crew wants to work for you. It's very sweet of you to say. But as you just saw, I was fired, so it's kind of impossible. Except Hope and I just had a little chat, and uh, while she can't override Dean, she thinks there might be enough footage for a pilot. Your pilot. Mm-hmm. All that's missing is an ending. You're serious. Hope says the network is intrigued. If we show them a little bit more, they just might buy it. <laughs> well, when? Ar aren't you guys supposed to be setting up the palace? Hope's covering for us. Well, you know if Dean finds out, you're next. Both of you. Yeah, I don't care. It's time I started doing what I want anyway. So what do you say? Should we get cooking? Okay, camera there, Cooper, this is where I'll be plating. Then we go outside. I want the audience at home to see all of this. We end up at the table. Food is going to look great here. We have some options for you. Okay. Yes, no, no. Yes, no. And Cooper? Yeah. I'd like a round table. Okay. You obviously have something to say. Just say it. You realize I know nothing about being a prep cook. I think we both know more than we realize and we just need to own it. Plus, I need you. I know that. And our chef only has an hour until she has to catch a plane. Yep, yep, yep. Lighting isn't quite right. Everything you shoot looks amazing. I'll take that. Okay. Okay. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. We had to push an hour, because we've had some production delays. One of which, we no longer have a prep cook. I realize you're not thrilled by the way things have played out. I watched the footage of Anna. And? And she's good. She's <laughs> always been good. Yes. It's the reason why I hired her. You have always been able to spot talent. Maybe I was a bit hasty. You? Hasty? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but there is something you can do. Why do I feel like I just stepped out into a Jane Austen novel? Are you a fan? Maybe. Good, because that's how I wanted this to feel, like 
a relaxed but elevated picnic. With lavender rack of lamb. Yeah, and lots of other goodies. Okay, you're up. Lighting's perfect. Oh, come sit. You have to eat with me. Best table is a crowded one. It uh, sounds like you just found your tagline. Oh my gosh, I think you're right. <clears throat> the best table is a crowded one. <laughs> I love it. May I join? Oh, oh, what are you doing here? Does Dean know? He called the network and he vouched for you and your new pilot. He did? <laughs> yeah, I mean, for all Dean's many, many flaws, he has an appreciation for natural talent. So, of course, now he wants you to hit it out of the park, so here we are. So what can we do? Where are we at? Please come sit, eat, and enjoy. Guys, come eat. I mean, that's crowd this table. Well, with help. I mean, with help. It looks great. Guys, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> this will all it's took me. Oh, great. So good. Oh, this is your one? This is my one. Thank you. So, where do I sit? So, uh, <laughs> time to try the lamb. Here's to the chef. And some more room around the table. Thank you. <laughs> and that's a cup. Who's up for a shot of ginger? Ah, oh, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, the wheels are already turning. A Sue and Sevilla? Think about it. Fingers crossed. <laughs> That'd be it's incredible. Happen. That'd be so cool. Hey, uh, I was hoping you might want to join me for a port. Just the two of us. Yeah. <sighs> Finally. So then you show. I cannot believe this is <laughs> happening. <laughs> Well, I'm 100% in. Yeah, well, two best mates. No. I mean, I mean, yes, but, but no. We are best mates. But. I messed up that night. Oh? Watching you lately. I don't know. The lights just shifted and brought everything into focus. You are not only my best friend, but the most amazing woman I have ever met. Well, that's probably a good thing. So I never stopped having feelings for you. Does that mean you're going to give me another chance? You know I'm not going in first. Yes, Chef. Mm -hmm. 